And if you take a very small mic, um, microscope. microscope, that's the word, and you look in here, you can see little air bubbles coming up because algae makes 70% of the world's oxygen. And in, Algae International actually started with the Leonardo in Alexandria, and they didn't know how to spell algae, so that he put L and G, right? And one of the kids, one of the kids comes up, he says, well, we're going to be all over the world. He says, okay, we international. So that's their company, LGI. And Leonardo is the CEO, and he has a sister a year older. So they were arguing about who's got the power. He says, I know you are, maybe you, uh, you got more power, but he says, I'm the president, and no CO2 going to tell me what to do. So, <laughs> We call him CO2, it's a she thing, you know? So, you know, what is that word? It's not money driven, because biofuel now, let's make biofuel. What we did is education, it's environment, and I mean, you can buy that with money. And it's not for grades. So, there's all different kinds, there can be this kind of algae, and this kind, this kind, there can be, there's about 600, only 70,000 70, um, different kinds of algae. And we picked the. And you know what's the more wonderful algae? thing about when you teach them like this? That they have a feeling that they actually could make a difference. So, and you know, it's they theirs. sense the fact that you guys are sincere when you're talking to them. I think they really do. You know, they, they people listen and, and they have something to say now. Dad, can you make this work? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, this is, this is the algae field. You could see the algae growing in there. I, I think I know how to run it. They are the one who's running this. So. It is circulating. You could see the algae growth. It's really fast growing. You see the algae growing back in here? This is actually getting from a sunlight, and it grows with the photosynthesis. But we also could put nutrients in to make it grow 24 hours a day. And what we are also do is we take dry ice here and then we put it into this unit. Right here we produce the CO2. We produce the CO2, which we helping the algae grow right through with the compressor. Let me just turn on the recycle from CO2. We produce the CO2, a CO2 goes through this chamber, it goes into the CO2 and then it comes into the compressor to produce, to produce the algae. And then what we basically do, we filter out the water, then we make filter cakes, go through the press, we make oil, the oil comes back into this chamber where we heat it with hot water. The oil being heated and it's separated with uh, glycerin and the water. So we are putting a little ethanol in here and ethanol being retapped in here so when you heat it, it doesn't evaporate so you don't waste it. And once we have enough algae, when this reaches the bottom, it should have enough. And so it goes through here and it goes into here. <laughs> it goes into here. And then we take the um, water and CO2, we put it back through here, and then we put it over there and recycle it again. Then we take the algae that's left over, put it through the algae cake filter, and then through the press. What the press does is it presses the, it presses the um, algae, excuse me. <laughs> it presses the algae, and it makes it kind of into a cake. Mm -hmm. And then what, um, and then the results, algae oil. When you put in CO2 into this, it grows every four hours. Uh, yeah. And it algae, it grows every three to four hours, or how should I say, um, it divides itself. So, all right, you have two pieces of algae, and they grow together. And then those split off, and then those grow, and then those split off, and then those grow, and those split off. And so that's what happens. So you could imagine a growth, how fast you could see some of those jars how quickly that they grow and how dense is the algae. And now they could use this as a fertilizer 
fish eats this to get the omega-3 and the omega-6 oil. Tan. Um, where was I? And we heat up the algae oil because it gets very thick and needs to float. Also because it, um, oh, I just lost. Separates. Oh, the it algae. separates the glycerin and between the algae oil and water. Right here is water. <coughs> right between, and then right here is algae oil. And between this glycerin, and that's what separates it. So we have, so we heat it up also to do that. And we put nutrients like corn husks in in there, so it'll grow 24 hours a day to like give it a little pop. These are all different kinds of algae right here. And sometimes you don't even need to press it. Sometimes it'll just come out like this. Algebra produces 6,000 gallon to 10,000 gallon of oil. Uh, out of an acre. And if you take corn, it only produces 50 gallon of ethanol. So it's a bad thing because you take all this corn, you only produce this much oil out of it. And people can be eating the corn instead of, you know, using the oil. The oil that you're producing is worth $12 a gallon versus biodiesel, which were maybe $2 a gallon. And you could produce it for about a dollar to dollar twenty-five a gallon. And so you could imagine it's economically very, very good to use for biodiesel. And it's sort of money driven right now. But because of the project with these young kids, it's educational, it's environmental, and then using it for animal feed. And that's the whole object that we're trying to do here. These kids got involved with this project and they physically help us put together and understanding how this equipment works. And I guess you could hear them how they talk about it. Oh, they love it. So you have to watch it. Yes.